Hello class, this is Travis Pearson. I'm doing my uh, discussion board for MM669. Uh, this is my first discussion board. My name's Travis Pearson. I'm a psychiatric registered nurse going to grad school to try to get my psych NP. I am located right now in Boise, Idaho. My current position right now, I'm a traveling psychiatric nurse, traveling close. I, I'm working here in Boise at a different psych facility, so I'm kind of like on a local traveler contract. I've been in psychiatric nurse my entire nursing career. Um, at this current facility, I am dealing with adults 18 to 65, and on the other half of the unit, we have adolescents between the ages of 6 years old and 13. Not adolescents, I guess, young children. So um, this is my first experience at a psych facility with young children. I've been over there a few times. It's a lot more work on that side. My experience is very limited with pediatrics and psychiatric population because... I have been avoiding that particular group of individuals like the plague because I have kids of my own and it is very tough to see some of these kids get some of these medications and see some of the behavioral problems. And when you read some of their charts, it's like it's heart wrenching. Uh, I've done some of my rotations at the state hospital on the adolescents when I was in nursing school. So I have found that that is like the weakest area. Um, it is. It feels like it's the most in need in our current area, um, we get a lot of kids with RAD, the re, re, I can't even remember the name for the re reactive attachment disorder disease, um, a lot of uh, physical violence, um, a lot of trauma in their history. I mean, some of these poor kids that come into our facility have past that are just atrocious. A lot of these kids are in the um, foster system. I've had multiple parents. Sometimes when they come into our facility, they're basically almost abandoned by their parents. They get maybe a phone call once a week. So it's pretty traumatic on a lot of these kids. We deal with a lot of autism in there and different things. Uh, let's see the last question. What do you know about pediatric adolescents population specific health needs and vulnerabilities? I kind of touched on that a little earlier, but I mean, a lot of these kids need, um, they need caring people in their lives. They need a lot of therapy. They need, um, we do a lot of uh, OT consults, occupational therapy with a lot of these kids because they don't have the motor skills. They also use a lot of, they also have speech problems. A lot of these kids unfortunately have family histories of methamphetamines, which meth, which is a huge problem right now in Idaho with a lot of these kids. I haven't seen as many fetal alcohol syndrome children, but I have seen a few come through with the, the facial deformities and different things like that. Um, as far as these kids go, uh, some of these kids get some massive medications. Uh, there's a couple of our kids that are on 600 milligrams of Seroquel, which is a massive dose in my brain and mind. And it doesn't even touch some of these kids. They still bounce off the walls. Uh, they still are oppositional. They, You learn to do a lot more redirection with children. And uh, it's a definite definitely an area that I need to spend some time focusing on because I don't know everything there is to know about kids. So this is good experience for the last uh, 13 weeks working in this facility, getting some practice with children. I signed another 13 week contract. So I'll continue to work through these kids with these kids and adults all the way through Christmas. So this is my first video uh, for the discussion board. My name is Travis Pearson. I'm a psychiatric RN going through the program. I'm hoping to learn as much as I can and keep on keeping on. Thank you. Bye.